So by far the most important palette or the most important dialog that you'll be using in Map Publisher is the Map View um, palette and dialog. And that can be found here. Wherever you see this globe on the toolbars, that is Map Views. And Map Views at first is a little counterintuitive, so I want to start this before we even bring in any spatial data. And Map Views, it's, it, at first glance, it looks a lot like the Layers um, dialog. So here's Layers and here's Map Views. And you can see here it says non-map layers, and if I draw something, or maybe I'll type a title here, this is the world. Um, so in the layers panel now, over here, the standard Adobe Illustrator layers, we have this is the world, and I could rename this layer title. And if I click back on map views, it'll say title. Now, what map views is, and this is still hard to wrap one's head around sometimes, is when we bring spatial data in, in here we'll see it. And so it will give us information about that spatial data. And anytime you bring spatial data in, it creates a new map view. And I want you to think of map views, individual map views, as individual maps. So just like you can have multiple maps on a single page, you could have a main map and many inset maps, locator maps, detail maps, um, a map of the Western Hemisphere, a map of the Eastern Hemisphere. Just um, a map view is one map on the page. Oftentimes, you only have one map view because you're only using one, you know, one extent. You're going to map, you know, the world, and that's the only thing. However, each additional map view you add is like an inset map or a second map on a page. Now, what am I talking about? I'm going to keep this dialog open, and I'm going to go over to Simple Import, and we're going to click on uh, browse and let's bring in some I'll bring in some small scale data this time small scale data means less um, detailed so I'll bring in countries and I'll hit open and I'll hit OK and voila look it up here so we still have our non map layers including the title and I can lock it here I can make the title invisible here just like elsewhere but now what we have is a new map view this globe is a map view and in it we have one layer countries. Now, um, let me take a moment to show you what you can do with map views. To edit map views, you just simply double click on the globe thing. Not the shape file, not the file you brought in, but up here on the globe thing. So I'll double click. This is where you move your data. Don't move it outside of this unless you really um, don't want to reproject it. But this is where you move your data, you reproject your data, you can do change the scale, you can do a ton of things in here. And um, so I'm just going to show you a few right now, and then we'll have some more discussions about this later on. Sorry, just making sure my headphones on. So the first things first, whenever you add a data set, it creates and names the map view the same as the data set name. But this is a really lame data set, uh, map view name. So we're going to call this world map, so it's clear. And then here we can hit scale. Now we can hit auto scale, and what this will do is this is our map up here this box symbolizes our map on the page it centers it and it scales it so it'll fit as much of the page as possible but of course if you want a neat line or anything going to the edge of the page isn't ideal so here you can manually increase or decrease the size of your map and i'm just going to hit ok so you can see what we're doing here so we hit ok and it now centers it and puts it in the middle of the page all right but that's just the start i'm going to double click on world map again you can do a ton of things. Here you can just give it a, an absolute scale, so because you don't ever really want to scale at 27,831,000. So let's just give it a scale of 28 million. And here you can actually line the map up. Whoops, I think it should have been 280 million, sorry. You can line the map, so you center it up there, put it to the upper right, the lower right, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you actually want to see where how it looks on the page, you can go here to previews, click on thumbnails, and it'll show you, you know, roughly where things are. And then here with this tool, you can actually move it across the page. And this is how you should move your map on the page. Never use the arrow tool to move it around because if you try to reproject it later, it might get a little nuts. It's fine to delete things and stuff, but all right, so notice the scale is 1 to 280 million. Another thing that's really cool about this is you can change the angle. And so for rhetorical effect, sometimes it's powerful to 
change the angle of your map. So this is your map at 45 degrees. North isn't quite straight up anymore. Um, you know, you could do minus 33 degrees, or maybe it should be 23 for axial tilt. Um, but basically, this is this is a really cool feature here. Up here, you can show margins. Um, so this was the margins of the page, kind of nutty margins, if you ask me. Show anchors, so the coordinates and on the map and also on the page. So show select the extent of your selection. So you have a bunch of tools here. Oh, here are the margins, I think. All right, we'll hit OK. All right, so this is a map view, and, and this is really useful. You can zoom in to get a better view of it. Um, but this is only one aspect of it, rearranging your map on the page. The other more crucial aspect, I would argue, is projections. So th we'll talk about that in the next segment because it's so important I don't want to cram it in here. But this is these are the map views. One other thing I want to show you is once you have a map view, you can use advanced import. Now, once you have a map view, if you use simple import, it will create a new map view. Actually, I'll show you this first. If I try to go and add data to this, let's say I want to add states and provinces, and I hit open, it's going to, um, you get two options. You can either bring it into this world map view, or you can create a new map view. So um, let's create a new map view. I'll click there. And so now notice we have two map views. And these are independent of each other. So this world map, I can uh, move up here. And I can double click on the US one. Call this US states. I can hit auto scale. I can make it a lot smaller. I can make it an inset map. And I can move this one around. But it's independent of the world map. What if I want them to line up? What if I accidentally brought this in incorrectly? This is um, a really powerful feature of map views is if I decide, hey, I want to combine these two, I want the states to be overlaid on top of the uh, world map, I can simply grab a layer in the map view panel and drag it into the other map view. And voila, the US states are now in this map view. They're arranged to fit where I will have this map view, map view, its scale of 280 million. So this this is um, really powerful stuff. If I wanted to, I could drag both of these back into US states. And now the world is off the stage here because it's arranged to fit uh, where I have this map view on this map or on the page. So play around with map views. That's That's my word of wisdom. I'm going to actually delete this map view to delete a map view that you're not using anymore because you've decided to combine layers. You can highlight it and hit delete. And there's so much more about this that uh, in the next lesson I'm going to show you how to project map views and then I'll also show you how to export shapefiles from your reprojected data.